all you collectors out there. I know you watch our channel because we're really into video games. However, when you're a video game collector, does it really stop there? No. No. So if you're really into video games, you probably branch out a bit. You branch out into toys, collectible figures, plushies. Maybe you even branch out a little bit further and you go into paraphernalia and stuff like that for your game collection. And maybe you're missing one thing in your collection that's starting to go up in value. Something that we just noticed lately going through the price charting guide yep. that hadn't been there before. It's strategy guides. Now, I know everybody's always trying to find manuals to go in their cases, but you might be missing out on the next big thing in video game collecting because these are starting to go up in price. I was shocked to see even see strategy guides when I looked up a game on uh, price charting. Yeah. It popped up with a strategy guide and then I was blown away by how much it was. Of the 500 strategy guides listed at the time of recording, it didn't seem to matter what strategy guide I picked as I went randomly through the list. Data only existed from April 2021 and on, and many strategy guides didn't even have a price listing until around June or July. From indie titles to more popular titles, strategy guides have just been added to price charting. So should we expect them to increase in value? No. You might not be into collecting strategy guides. I'll tell you why I like strategy guides. Yes. Is because of, say, for instance, the last game I just played through was Skies of Arcadia. Mm -hmm. It was a 70 plus hour game. I absolutely loved it. I loved the music. I loved the graphics and all that. If I could get a soundtrack, I don't, yep. I don't know if I can on CD or vinyl or whatever, I would get a soundtrack and Instead of playing the game for 70 hours, if I want to sit down and just flip through the art and the strategy guide as my soundtrack's going on and just reminisce and yeah. kind of get capture a little bit of that feeling that I, that I got as I played through the game, that's what I like. So the strategy guide just would add to that in that one more thing you could have yes. to memorialize that game. Because there's guess, some big, the time in your life. big games that maybe you, as an adults we don't have the time to sit there and put 70 plus hours into. But if you could play the music, the soundtrack, and then you mm -hmm. can look at the art, and then you can just, it's like a photo album of you know, memories yeah. would flood in, it would be fantastic. Now, you know what? I know there's probably some people out there thinking, who cares about strategy guides? Oh, I'm sure. People once thought that about comic books. And look yeah. where we're at. So if you're in the hobby of collecting, where I think as a collector, you not only want these games to have in your collection but you if you're not looking at the value of your collection and getting excited about it i like i, I think most people are just look at the past like you take all these highly sought after consoles and games like turbo graphics i have stories of people saying they walked into a, a thrift store or mom and pop shop there mm -hmm. and bought a turbo graphics with 20 games for like fucking 30 bucks or something exactly. like this stuff See, they, they couldn't give it away back then. People didn't want it. But as so soon as somebody wants it, then yes. it becomes valuable. Yes, and, and even if you're not looking at it from like a financial standpoint, because you'll never sell them, yeah. there is that, I don't know, there's this excitement and I paid only this for this and now it's worth this. So I think that's where our strategy guides are going. That paper media, okay. it's not only rare, but it degrades. They didn't make they as didn't. many as there the games. There aren't as many guides as there are games. No. That's a fact. If you're a strategy guide collector or have collected strategy guides in the past, you're probably familiar with Brady and Prima Games. They merged in 2015, but after 28 years of publication, closed down in 2019. So it begs to question, with them going out of business and nobody else filling the slot, will these become more valuable? So for shits and giggles, I grabbed a handful of strategy guides out of my collection. I don't have a huge collection no. of them. And um, we're just going to look them up on price charting and see what they're actually valued at. I got six strategy guides of like games that are maybe fairly sought after. Yeah. They're well known and we'll see if they're worth anything because I have we haven't done this yet. We haven't. I haven't looked at them. I, these are just sitting on the shelf. I got them because I want them. So we don't know if all of these are in price charting but we have noticed 
they're starting to add them. So let's look at Dino Crisis. Dino Crisis. Dino Crisis. First one. So what we found out here, this is actually 47. So this is more of more than the game? That, that one's 47 for that strategy guide, but the Brady Games strategy guide is 41. Okay, 41, 42. Here. The game itself is, let's see here, 55. So, yeah, and it's not, it's, it's not in bad shape. There is a little bit of... I, and like my crease, I don't think this was ever opened because when you get into combo collecting, as soon as you break that crease, like it's tight. It hasn't been folded over, it hasn't been broken. No, there's just point. some wear along. There's wear. It's not mint by any means, but I didn't get it because of that. I, want, I got it because I wanted to like flip through, look at some of the art and, yeah. you know. Strategy guys can just be found online. And that's probably why people aren't really collecting them. Yeah. Unless you're into physical media and you like the art. Contrary to games, these cost a lot more to ship. Oh, yes. Yeah, you can't just put it in a bubble mailer. Mm, there's a fair amount of weight there. Though. There is a fair amount so of weight. So number, number two is Dino Crisis 2. And is it Prima or Brady? It is Brady Games. Brady Games. Is that in it? Um, let me see. Okay. Not exactly easy to find. Maybe it's rarer than you think. It, it might well be. Yeah. If there's anybody out there that knows around what this goes for, it's not coming up on price charting, and I'm having a hard time to find it on eBay. Yeah. So let us know. Uh, I'm thinking it's probably comparable. Next on the list is one of my favorites. And it was a must have. It was a must have. It's Parasite, Parasite Eve. Eve. Love this game. I had I had the strategy guide along with the greatest hits copy. You did. I don't know where the hell they went to. Oh, no. So I had to go back and like reacquire this. Okay, there's the Brady Games one. We're looking at eighty dollars. Whoa. Eighty dollars, and I All know right. we didn't pay eighty dollars. I this. bought this last year for forty. Yeah. So it's doubled in a year. Absolutely, and I'm not surprised at all. The games have also gone up. The games have also yeah. gone up. They're... One is not nearly as expensive as two, though. Yeah, since we're talking since we're about talking it. talking about it, number two. Now, this one is really nice. It's a couple little folds, a couple little dings here and there. Yeah. But it's in really good shape. Now, is it brand new or did they just put it in a sleeve? It's just in a sleeve. In it was shipped sleeve. that way, and I decided to keep it in there until I want to look at well, it. Well, I don't blame you. I would probably like to get sleeves for them all to protect them. Now, this one is actually cheaper. Wow. It is $50. But if the second game is more expensive, I see this one going up in price. It could be. It, it yeah. Could. Although you compare the two against each other, and I do like the first strategy guide better than the second. But yeah, I don't know. I think it's just the contrast here. Yeah. And the very bright white and that close up on the eye and face. I think right. that's what makes the dot. Well, let's cover do more this one next because I didn't think this one was worth much at all. No. Well, we're Alone going to in the dark, prima. Okay, let me see. Oh, the new Nightmare Prima? Yep. That's a cool, it's a cool cover. It is. Cool artwork. We're looking at $40. I think I paid about that. I only got it maybe a few months ago. Yeah. And this one here. This one here took me a long time to track down because I did see a couple of them and they're, they're in rough shape. Yeah. But you have the official Final Fantasy VII Strategy Guide and it is the Brady Games. Brady Games. There we go. Oh. 66 bucks. Why does that have a little seal on the top there? Where? Up there? Yeah. You see that? I don't know what that is. Of one million? I wonder if this, if there's two different releases, like is this uh, a first or second edition? Yeah, it's hard to say. Wow. Holy shit. Holy shit. Final Fantasy VII Ultimate Guide with poster, $215 almost. Canadian. Yeah. <laughs> so about $3 American. $3 American. Yeah. All right. I actually forgot to add in, or I actually forgot it on the shelf, but third birthday, which is the third Parasite Eve, is the PSP game. Um, we tried looking up the price for it. Can't find anything on it. No, it's but definitely not on price charting. Let's check out some of the artwork. Yeah. Ah. 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 <laughs> yeah, 
yeah so if there's anybody out there that knows what it goes for or can let us in on a little bit of information we were having a hard time to find a value on it yeah. let us know in the comments now as far as strategy guide collecting goals for myself is i would love to have i would love to have skies of arcadia because i just played through that and it's yeah it be, like i said if i could sit down and play the soundtrack and then flip through the guide to see the artwork and stuff there would like take me back but for myself, after that, it would be like genres I really love. Mm -hmm. I'd love to collect all the Resident Evils. They'd be really cool. Silent Hills would be really cool. Yeah. Um, I've recently started collecting the Sudokudin stuff there, and those are pricey too. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. So it's it's something to consider, guys. I know vinyl's really big right to uh, right now too. I forgot yeah. to mention that at first, but you had touched on it with mm -hmm. you know it, strategy guides could be that next thing that really do blows they go up. do they go hand in hand? Do you sit down and do you play your vinyl, listen to the soundtrack, and then sit down with your strategy guide and flip through and look at the artwork and mm -hmm. can I get that you know reminisce and yeah, it's like looking at a photo album. <laughs> I know somebody's I know somebody's mom has a pile of these in her attic, and if you could just Drop them off at the Value gonna, Village. She's gonna <laughs> drop them off at the Value Village so the guy can buy them and then flip them all for hundreds of dollars. Oh uh, no, just let us get them first. I would assume that every any mom out there thought these were just mag magazines and just and threw them in the garbage. Biffed them. So, right? Yeah, I don't see there being a stack in somebody's attic or basement there. No. Not very many of them. And but I we, think did, we did find strategy guides just with the books in value village and yeah. they they were shockingly low price they were i was yeah. shocked so i continue to look are you into collecting strategy guys or are you more enticed to try to collect for strategy guys which will only jack up the price on me yeah don't do it <laughs> <laughs> so i would suggest to stay off yeah stay out of the paper media it's, it's uh, not for you. No, you got it's it's heavy. It takes up space. You really don't want to get. You it don't want it. No. All right, guys. <laughs> Until next time, don't collect strategy, guys. But game on. Game on.